In the previous video I presented the board I made for this station. Today I will show you how to install it. If you purchased the board as a kit, I assume you know how to solder. Start by soldering all the components except for the triac, as you will need to remove the heatsink from the original board first, as seen later in the video. Make sure the connectors and electrolytic caps are in the right orientation and the resistors are soldered in the right spot exactly as provided in the card. Start by unplugging the cord. There are no high voltage caps inside, so at this point you are safe to dismantle it. Remove the 8 screws holding the cover. Slide the cover to the back and lift it. Unplug all the connectors from the board. If this is the first time you might feel some resistance as they are secured with a little bit of glue. Remove the screws that hold the AC wires. Remove the four screws that hold the board. Cut the screen pin headers flush to the main board so you can reuse them. Remove any solder blobs with the soldering iron and solder wick if needed. New pin headers are included with the order in case you need to replace them completely. If you don't have a desoldering gun, you can still easily remove them by following the tutorial linked in the description. Remove the screws securing the triac to the heatsink and remove the two screws holding the heatsink to the board. Mount the heatsink to the new board. If you purchase the kit, first secure the triac to the heatsink and only then mount it to the board and solder the triac in place. Clean the station with isopropyl alcohol or equivalent and glue the sticker as shown. You can use a squeegee for better results. Use a sharp tool to mark the center of the holes to prevent the drill bit from slipping. Carefully drill a pilot hole with a small drill bit and increase the drill size until you feel comfortable drilling with the final size of 7mm. Use a file or deburring tool to clean the holes. Now you can install the potentiometers at a slight angle like shown. Insert the washer and use a 10mm wrench to tighten the nut.
Now you can install the knobs, at least for now these are not included with the order. The display actually has a very glary protective film that you can remove. Install the included spacers. Make sure the red line is pointing towards the top. Install the board. Check if the display is in the correct position before tightening the screws. Reconnect all the plugs and wires. Close the cover and put the 8 screws back on. Now you can test and enjoy your upgraded station. If you are happy, I appreciate if you could leave a review on my Tindy store. Should there be any kind of issue, please contact me first. Have fun!